as Montanans wait patiently and some not so patiently to reopen, another huge relief bill is moving through Congress. The president praising the Senate after it approved a measure to give billions more dollars to small businesses and hospitals after a week of negotiations. Natalie Brand is at the White House tonight with more. President Trump is already looking to the next COVID-19 relief bill after the Senate passed a nearly half trillion dollar deal to give additional funding to small business relief programs, hospitals and testing. I urge the House to pass the bill and they're going to be voting on it, I imagine, very very soon. The Treasury Secretary said changes will go into place to stop large companies from getting loans through the Paycheck Protection Program. Those big firms who have already been approved for loans will be asked to give them back. To the extent these companies didn't understand this and they repay the loans, that will be okay. And if not, there'll be potentially other consequences. President Trump discussed testing with New York yes. Governor Andrew Lieutenant Cuomo Governor in a closed-door meeting. We'll all work together to help them secure additional tests, and we hope that this model will work with the other states as well. Monday night, the president tweeted he would take executive action to temporarily halt immigration. The State Department has already been restricting visas due to the coronavirus since last month. It would be wrong and unjust for Americans laid off by the virus to be replaced with new immigrant labor flown in from abroad. The president says the pause will last for 60 days and only applies to those applying for permanent residency. Natalie Brand, CBS News, the White House. Well, both of Montana's senators supporting the bipartisan bill. Democrat John Tester saying it is needed to slow the spread of the virus while assisting Main Street businesses that are the backbone of our economy. Tester went on to say he'll be holding the federal government accountable to ensure the resources that are provided today get swiftly to the folks that need them and working to fix eligibility issues so more Montana small businesses can actually use the programs that have been created for them. And Republican Steve Daines also weighing in saying replenishing the Paycheck Protection Program is critical to helping Montana small businesses keep their doors open and workers employed. As of today, Dane says Montana small businesses have received 13,456 loans for over $1.4 billion under this program. And he says this new boost in funding will continue to help Montana small businesses and workers during this tough time. Dane's also mentioned that $16 million will be earmarked for COVID-19 testing here in Montana.